Hi guys, welcome back to the third part of this tutorial using JSON with iOS 5 and the Bing API. As you see, I've typed out the method for the cell for row add index path method. Uh, quickly talk you through it. Set in the cell identifier, nothing new there. The Instead of the tail view cell, we are setting up our own cell using our custom class. As you can see, we've, we've uh, instantiated it, cast it because it's a custom one nothing really new there. If this is the cell creation, we're allocating our new one in it with style, default, default, yep, it's all good. And we're telling it that frame is going to be the entire contents of the frame. You can sometimes get away with that at this, but we want to make sure this obeys all our custom set rules. Perfect. Now we instantiated our data model because don't forget we're going to we're putting our results into the data model, then take them out to put into the cell results. So we're going to, we're instantiating that and it's going to be equal to stuff the array stuff which has been populated with all our results of the index path so this is going to be now creating our information on the screen so cell that title label so our table cell title label is going to be equal to temp model title and same for description and same for the url label now let's see what effect that has Obviously you should be testing each phase of these yourselves to make sure the information is coming through perfectly and you're getting the right one, but in this I don't have time. As you can see now, all our information is coming out. Okay, granted this isn't very pretty, this is I literally threw this together as fast as I could rather than doing it 100 percent If you want to make your own custom table cell, go right ahead. But it's putting our title, description, and the URL for each of our data cells. Now you may already know that's only pulling in 10. That's what we wanted. We didn't want to pull it in. If it's even pulling in 10, not too sure. But we didn't want to pull in too many because it'll just cause problems and errors. And it's not errors, just slow results. Also, it's not doing anything. So first of all, I'm going to make it do something. Then I go back through the app. I'm going to make it so you can enter the search result ourselves, And then I'm going to add in the extra cell and account for the extra cell. So let's, first of all, make it do something cool. So, new file, uh, UI view controller, and we're gonna call it web, and make it a subclass of UI view controller. No nib, not for iPad. Next, and create. Okay, into web we go. And in web we want two properties property now atomic retain actually you don't even need this what we do need though is to import our the results property now atomic retain the results results And because I like to keep things old school, UI web view, web view, and uh, what else we need? Do we need an URL string for this one? Yeah, NS URL, the URL. And of course, since we're going to be using a capital L, uh, a programmatic web view. UI web view delegate. Perfect. Drain file and synthesize results. Okay. Make some room. Delete half this crap. All of it even because I use a nib. Race. Uh, okay. Now. In our view to load, we want to do a few little things. NS, sorry, uh, the URL is equal to NS URL, damn it, NS URL, URL with string results dot URL. 
UI web view, sorry, web view equals UI web view unlock in it with frame CG rect make zero zero um to do self oh fuck's sake self dot view dot bounds dot width sorry dot size dot width and self dot view dot bounds dot size dot height why must you mock me sometimes S code that and don't need that. Okay, so let's make the web view the size of our screen. Web view, uh, one bracket there. Happy days. Now, web view dot delegate equals self. Web view dot scales pages to fit. Scales pages to fit equals yes. Uh, now, this to make sure you make it work. Web view load requests NS Earl request request with Earl the Earl. And we're missing a bracket and self dot view and self view web view. Okay, so this is now set up to receive information to load our URL from our cells. But now how do we actually tell it to go to this cell? So to go to this URL from this cell. Did select row at index path. This is what we want to use. Okay, first of all the table view deselect index path and Yes, this is going to be that nasty blue little flashy thing after we've done anything with it. So, uh, of course, we must import web. Now, web new web equals stuff. No. Nope. It's not at all. Web a lock in it. Now new web dot results equals stuff object at index index path dot row. So we're not telling it that results sorry new web results is equal to what we're gonna be pressing. Okay, so when we press the button, we're going to do something with this. So, self dot navigation controller, push view controller, new web animate yes. Okay, don't forget we have set up the next web, the web view to retrieve the URL from the data being taken from the cell pressed. Okay, so when that's pressed, it's going to tell the results that the URL path is what we said to be. And there we go. We go back to a different one. Perfect. It's now going to the URL we've selected from the data model by pressing a cell. Now I'm going to pause this, I'm going to fix a few bugs that stops us from using this properly and explain them. And that should just bring us about, about 12 minutes, it won't take long. Okay guys, here's the code for the final fixes if you haven't been able to do them yourself. First of all, we have to remove the hard-coded search from view load. Now we want to have make a method called text field should return, so after you press return on the keyboard it'll do this, it'll set stuff to nil, so if you're doing new searches it'll set to nil, search the text field, so I search being with what you enter text, it'll reload table data and make the keyboard go away, 
nothing has changed there okay this is for appending the results but for numbers of rows and sections we have to create an extra cell if we have if stuff exists so if we have done a search it'll return 10 results but we want to return an extra one row that's for the more cell if else if stuff doesn't exist it means we haven't done a search yet return zero there'll be nothing in the table view perfect as you can see here we have an if statement so if the index path dot row is less than stuff count so if the amount of rows is less than the return of the array which I think is 8 or 10 not too sure then fill those cells with the data as we've seen else if is greater than that return count so I think it's either 9 or 10 or 11 not too sure what the exact count is at the moment create a cell sorry fill the cell we created with the plus one here so the plus one cell now becomes the more cell which has more as the title and nothing else now once again how we distinguish between that cell and these when we press it so we go down to our this this next row the next path and we've modified a small bit so we've had the same if statements so we check if it is within those parameters and if not we alter the off value okay so if it is outside those account so it's more than whatever we set it as or if it's returning as we want to make the off value which was zero into 10 so a string format cast it into your off value in value plus 10 and then when self search being with your search so search again without changing the param without changing that but off value will now be 10 Okay, so you're turning 10 more results onto your previous 10. So how do we account for that? Another if statement in our get data. Because so we've done another search with the same query, but our value is now 10 more. So we actually have next 10 results coming in. So if stuff exists, we don't want to replace it, we want to append. So stuff becomes itself by appending it to the new 10 results okay so it'll take the 10 we already have and add 10 more but of course you have to have a checker if we haven't searched yet if it's a brand new search we instantiate stuff as temp same as before the first 10 results now that may have confused you a small bit I'm just going to build and run and show you exactly how it turns out and this code will all be online and you know pause if you're unsure and test every bit so search for iPhone if we press return we get our results there we go and our x results more press more and you get 10 more so now we should have maybe maybe 30 results on the screen and they're all still there and we're going to press any one at random bada boom it still works now it's not very glamorous it's not very you know pimped out you know you can mess around this yourself this just to show you how to use a big api like and get results and sort them out nice and simple only a few files hope it helped any questions ask away all right guys that's all for me hope it helped take it easy